This is your man C coming to you from the one, the only, the two Too real loud. Ready. radio. They a little high, y'all. I apologize for that right now. <laughs> so uh, this is our inaugural show, and this is the first time that we're doing this live and on uh, on camera. Ooh. Everybody ready? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ready. So, uh, so before we get into what today is, the holiday that is today, we're going to get into what Two Real Radio is. So basically, our world is constantly changing, and it's... It's no longer black and white. It used to be, uh, you know, black and white. Now we're strictly gray. So what we are at Tour Radio is we're trying to figure out the gray, how to negotiate the gray, and how to respectfully and consciously, you know, give everybody the voice to figure out how we all, you know, just get along in this world today. Correct. So that's about anything else you want to add? Anybody? Jen Strong, lover of life. <laughs> Live and direct. Two Real Radio. Yes, we in here. <laughs> Okay, so our show was not going to be uh, um, basically a cannabis show. Today, to celebrate the holiday, it will be. But for real, we, go, we are a lifestyle show. We're going to try to figure out uh, what we got. Um, bathroom debates, children, yeah. relationships, yeah. cheating. Nothing PC. I mean, you know, don't, don't hold sons. back. You know? The whole gamut. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's a good way to say it, too. Yeah. Yeah. But with today being 420, uh, yeah. We're going to get directly into it. I'm going to kick that thing off. Marijuana. Right. Cannabis. That so with that being said, we're going to bid one of our uh, co-hosts farewell. He has a prior engagement. See yeah, later. yeah. But this is just the beginning. Obviously, the two real radio is here. Okay. And like I say, we came a long way. And obviously, I'm glad that we're here. Listen, Vision Live. And uh, let's go ahead and get it started, man. All right. All right. right. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. So now to get this started, yeah. let's get them out of there. And let's light this up. And uh, let's talk about what today is. Today is... Uh, 420. The holiday for cannabis. All right, so does anybody, anybody in the studio can answer this. Does anybody know where the term 420 came from? Anybody? Ladies, do you? Anybody? Anyone? Anyone? I don't. Bueller? I don't either. Bueller. All right, so a lot of people believe that 420 actually came from... Can I get a light from one of you guys now that he's gone? There you um, go. A lot of people believe that it came from the police code for smoking in public. Um, no, not at all. Actually, it came from five guys who had practice, who uh, initially found a treasure map to a lost site of cannabis. So every day in school, they would tell each other, hey, 420, we got to go find this pot. They smoke, go on a treasure hunt. Never found anything, but the code 420, you know, caught on within the people at the school. One of the gentleman's fathers was actually a uh, kind of like a roadie or a manager for a lower band for the Grateful Dead. They caught the Grateful Dead caught on, and then and through ceremonies and, and, and uh, concerts or whatever, they started using 420, and that's where basically the term 420 comes from. Thank y'all. So now you know, five guys, you and your friends can start something. What? No. Can I take my drink? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, you and five guys can start Not something, yet. pass this it down, and everybody will follow. Sorry for the lack of eye contact. I got to get this done right. Don't so, do no canoe and I'm about chase. to partake in this Rice Krispie right quick. So, today what we're going to do, we're going to get into a little bit of history of cannabis. It matches me, too. Look, guys. Uh, <laughs> medical, medicinal, recreational. We're going to have a game show, and we're just going to have an old-fashioned smoke out. Yeah. yeah, so feel free. Ask questions. Get to know us a little bit. Do what you want to do. Okay, so Miss T. If y'all got food, eat it. <laughs> so Miss T, can you give us the history of cannabis while I choke up? Okay. Are you touch screen? It's 2018. Ooh. HP moving on up. Go to the east side, though. Okay. So this plant originally evolved from Central Asia. Okay. So basically, it's been around for uh, since five, I think, five hundred BC before. Uh, oh, eighteen thirties. No, man, what are you, what are you, five BC, five hundred BC by sh- uh, shamans in China, oh. India, 
It didn't become medical marijuana until 1830s. My bad, y'all. The main active ingredient that gets everybody high is THC. Um, whoever's listening to this, um, whoever's going to be on our game show, I'm giving away a lot of the clues for what the answers will be, so make sure you pay attention. Uh, THC is tetrahydrocannabinol. All right? Mm-hmm. Go ahead, keep finna. What, what are you doing? You're supposed to be on medical. All right, so 1830s, Sir William Broke, uh, an, an Irish doctor was the first, in India was the first one to extract hold up, cannabis. Hold up, hold up, Sir William Brooke O'Shaughnessy. That's what he says. <laughs> Don't forget the O'Shaughnessy. He was the first doctor to find out that cannabis worked in easing pain and stomach ulcers, vomiting, nausea, and things like that. Um, and also to get uh, appetite for AIDS patients and stuff like that. That was in okay. 1830. Okay. Since then, uh, there's really been no change in cannabis. I don't think AIDS in, in was medical, around back uh, then. Huh? AIDS wasn't around back then. Shit, better was. Cholera. Mm-hmm. Cholera. Let's go with cholera. Okay. No, I, but I meant to say it was uh, in AIDS patients later on. It was found right, to ease. Later on. Uh, yep. Can we get an ashtray, somebody? Somebody? We need a runner. Thank you. All right, let's go. Recreational cannabis. You got the computer. Let me take it. Oh, you over there high I'm, shit. I'm stuck, man. 420 already. We ain't even started. <laughs> you need me to read it. You need me to read it. You need Recreational weed. An ancient Greek historian named Herodotus described the Scythians, a large group of Iranian nomads in Central Asia, inhaling the smoke from smoldering cannabis seeds and flowers to get high. Hashish, a purified form of cannabis smoke with a pipe, was widely used throughout the Middle East and parts of Asia after about 800 AD. Okay. AD. Its rise in popularity corresponded with the spread of Islam in the religion. The Quran forbid the use of alcohol and some other intoxicating substances, but did not specifically prohibit cannabis. And that's special. Go. And that's special for all you Muslims. It. All you Muslims, you're allowed yeah, to smoke you're weed. Allowed. That's what it says. But you cannot drink. You cannot drink. Okay, so after that. We get the demonization of cannabis with the first people to bring it to the New World, to America, the Mexicans. So you had the Mexican people who were migrant workers coming in, smoking, and they were recreationally using cannabis. And because the people, the settlers, they didn't like the Mexican workers, it gave, they gave the, ne the negative connotation to cannabis attached with the Mexican workers. That's where the name marijuana comes from. Oh, okay. Well, let's keep going. Let's go. Okay, so... They said that massive unemployment and social unrest during the Great Depression stroked um, the Mexican immigrants, okay, to the public fear of evil weed. As a result, um, the what prohibition of the what? Oh, the Prohibition Act? You what? Okay. Okay, so 1937, that gives us Harry Anslinger, right? This guy was originally the first head of the DEA, what, was, what would become the DEA. Um, he had the most outrageous, outlandish ideas about what cannabis would do. Okay. Um, cannabis shouldn't be consumed by good white women because it'll make you have sex with the angry black guy. Um, these are things that he was putting in, uh, in medical journals and stuff. Uh, reefer, ma reefer makes darkies think that they're as good as white men. These were the type of darkies. things. Darkies? Darkies, yes. <laughs> Um, he believed that jazz music and reefer were the reason why white women were sleeping with black guys. They would make them sympathize more oh, with I them. I'll give you another reason. It, it, it wasn't those two, though. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Was it big or small? Dear, so because dear So basically, because of this guy, the Marijuana Tax Act of 1937 was passed, and cannabis nationwide was... Uh, Banned. Yeah, banned. Deemed illegal. When before this, you were almost you almost had to, and the settlers in uh, the early colonies, you had to grow cannabis. It was a law that said you had to grow for industrial use, hemp, um, rope. The so, Nina, the Santa Maria, most of the stuff, most of the fibers on the Santa Maria were actually made from hemp fibers. Um, one of the things that made it illegal, super illegal, and this is what a lot of people don't know, is the timber industry. Yeah. Cannabis grows at a ridiculous rate. It um feet at feet at a time. I mean feet in a couple of, in a month. You know you get a six foot plant of hemp in no time. In no time. 
So what you have is a, is a sustainable crop that you can constantly cut down and make paper, toilet paper, anything like that. The timber industry, fearing that they would lose money, went along with Anslinger and the whole demonization of cannabis because they were going to lose money. We'd have saved the trees, we'd have saved the forest, the rainforest, and all of that. But the timber industry decided that it wouldn't be beneficial to their bottom line to endorse. I wonder if, like, the timber, is that why it looks like a log a little bit, too, when you roll it, maybe? No. What? Uh, um, my bad. So We're going to skip you on the next one. So, <laughs> so now that leads us basically to... So where we are now, though? The war on drugs, 1970 and Nixon. You know, uh... You still have the this, demonization this, of colored getting... people. You know, uh, 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 we have this idea. We have this idea now that pot smokers are lazy, shiftless. Um, this, this, are we really about to talk about the war on drugs? Like, are we about to do this? Yeah, no. I mean, which was do this. Really? which was a giant <laughs> ploy to drugs. enslave like... colored people. Another way to. You know, Man. demon. When most of our most of the pot smokers that you think about in the early '60s, '70s are your Grateful Dead's, your Willie Nelsons, um, who are you know your white people. I was gonna say Caucasian. So it didn't get bad until when they passed it along. Till well, we start smoking that shit. Nah, what actually, you saying? like I said before, the Mexicans, man, the Mexicans, and you know, like what you saying, like. I'm trying to read, but I, mean, I can't read right now. What saying, that is what we're saying. We're basically saying that once it caught on and it was another way to enslave and, you know, imprison black people. Then... Okay, so what changed? Like, how we get here now? What the fuck we doing right now? Explain um, this shit to me. It's healing. That's what the I'm the healing, to How we the healing get from aspects? Beds medical to now. It's medical. So I'm on this medicine. motherfucker right now about to light this J up. How we get from there <laughs> to here? Explain um, that leap to me, please. Please. Because I'm sitting here looking at my J like. In a nutshell. Like, I still in a don't nutshell. Always trust this shit, though. Like, am I only one? Like. I can pass it to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, in a nutshell, it became. It's uh, all great and everything, but come on, let's get to the leap. Like, everything is changing. Explain. Everything is changing now because the old, the old guard that was in charge is dying out. Um, their kids smoked. You know, if you're around in the seven, if you're 40 years old and over, if you're if you're under 60, you smoke you smoked some weed before. Um, you smoke cannabis, your 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 girlfriend, your buddies, if you didn't smoke it, you were around it, you were right down the street, you know, when your friends smoked it, you stayed over there when they went around the corner. Uh, Thanksgiving, you took your walks and all that type of stuff. You were one of those people that smoked cannabis. So you know that it's not as bad. Reefus. It's not it's not the yeah, reefer. I look reefus. Like, Let me tell y'all now, I don't know what reefer is. <laughs> um I've never smoked it. I don't Bush think I've even I don't think I've ever even seen it. I had a buddy, a buddy of mine, like a, a buddy of mine. His father said, you know, he used to play Game Boy all the time. We used to go to his house before we had our Reggie, sessions, and he would say, Reggie, um, Reggie Bush. When I was your age, and I was out at the concerts and the parties, you know, I used to, uh, I used to buy a bag of reefer, <laughs> this big, for like twenty dollars. And every time he would say that, I would look at him and say, I don't want no part of that. I don't want no parts of that. It's like buying know. cheap alcohol. Like, I don't want any parts of anything that I have to smoke 35 J's to get high. <laughs> if I'm high only while I'm smoking, I would... I... That's a cough session. That's not even a smoke session. I don't even know what uh, they I, I, de I decline, sir. No, thank you. You can keep that to you. And another thing, I don't want really... This is a session, and I, I know you guys. I love you guys. You know, um... I don't really like passing J's it, to I, people, man. I understand. I understand. Dave understand. Chappelle had a really good joke on his last thing when the lady asked him, "Can I hit that?" And he said, "I've had a long. What do you say? I'm, I'm dodging herpes or something. I had a long <laughs> life. Of, <laughs> yeah, well, he one in six, and he looked around, nodded his head a few times, <laughs> right. and didn't say anything else. Right. So that was a joke. Yeah, I'm really I'm not really into. My shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit, all my shit checks are all the way good. The bump on all your lip got some. Got, <laughs> got, got, got some bump on his lip. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so how did we get here? How did we get here? Yeah. California, California, yeah. in uh, that's what I'm interested in. Okay, so in 1996, California uh, passed uh, the Compassionate Use Act, which allowed people with so terminal, which allowed people with terminal that was illnesses, our foot in the door, to say, okay, so 
because of that, everybody now had a terminal illness, had some kind of pain, some kind of my back, my legs, my, and realizing that cannabis was one of those things that wasn't harming anybody. You know, you don't get into car crashes. Well, you do, but you don't get into car crashes. You don't drunk. There's no, you know, there's no harm in getting a little high and forgetting to pick your kids up on time. I mean, that's... <laughs> I'm gonna get there. I just forget. I mean, no, not, people do that normally. We, I had to get. We, I had to we get. We will have you remembering everything. I had to get to the high pockets. No, I mean, uh, no. Actually, cannabis will have you overly concerned with being late. Yeah. We will have you um, remembering everything. Oh shit! Am I late? I gotta go. I gotta get ready no, to get out of here. No, I'm not late. You'll be like, oh, I got 25 minutes before I gotta leave to go get the kids. Let me put this roast in the oven. Make this tea real quick. Change the girls. Put my clothes on, brush my teeth because I forgot to do it this morning. I'm and trying. Then, <laughs> then uh, by the time I get hey, back, did you, I know I have so thirty quick, more quick, minutes on the road. Real quick, real quick, did you did you, did you did brush you your teeth brush today? Yes, I did. Okay. Twice. Okay. And that's why, folks, you do not pass your J because my hunkers <laughs> don't be brushing their teeth. Admittedly, uh, but yeah, we'll have you remember everything on time. Twice. So so back to cannabis real fast. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as of January 18th. Mm-hmm. This year, we got nine states and D.C. that are recreational use cannabis. Florida, right? Florida just was Did added. Florida just pass? I think they just... Somebody else just passed... Um, recreational? Recreational, no, recreational. No, not medicinal, no. recreational. Okay. All right, but... Recreational. It's still illegal federally. Yeah, it's going to always be that way. You think so? I don't think so. Um, we'll get into that a little bit later when we get into cannabis news and everything, but... That's um, dumb, though. That's stupid. Like, when... Come on, like, can't we do something? Like, that's so stupid. Can we all, no. That's so stupid. We can't join like, hands. Sorry, no. That's not the dumbest thing ever. Well, what it's doing is it's leaving a whole lot of people in No, what it's doing is it's leaving all these people in jail for no reason. That's well, California now is releasing people. They're saying release, that anybody that faster. got caught, release anybody got caught with cannabis charges, and anywhere that is will legal, be released. That should be automatic. Well, like, I mean, on, there was now. a definite. It was classified as a, as a uh, was a, a category one drug as a, 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 a what schedule one. schedule one. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. A schedule one drug. So they're 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 lumping it with heroin, ecstasy. That's stupid. But by doing that, you can lock up a whole bunch of people and keep them locked pe- up. Minorities who are going to likely have and you know not to say it like that, but they're hoping that likely they'll have some type of cannabis on them. Um, no, knowing that everybody, knowing that everybody smokes, ah, baby bite pizza. That's it. That's the move. After here, we're getting baby bites pizza. Um, so today's cannabis smoking. We're smoking. Everybody's smoking old people. I, I deal with people at the pop ups. Um, you're dealing with everybody. They got senses. Yeah, everybody. If you don't have sense, if you're not smoking, you don't have sense. You know who's not? not you know who's not smoking? Then what's wrong with you? People that get pissed at work. That's who's not smoking. That's the only people that aren't smoking. They're walking around pissed off. Your boss, your supervisor. That's that. Oh my job, my job, my precious job. Those are the only people that aren't. No, the one that's eating my food in the refrigerator is the one that's smoking at work. (laughs) I think I haven't smoked in twenty years. Well, you need to smoke again. Them. Smoke. No, smoke, please. Well, get out of my face. I'm really, really high right now. Um, so, we're going to roll up some moon rocks. Yeah. Um, we're going to definitely roll up some moon rocks. You guys do moon rocks? Moon rocks? Ever? I've never done that. You've never done moon rocks? No. Have you dabbed before? No. You've never dabbed? No. Holy shit. Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna get back into some of these facts, and then we're gonna blow your mind. All right, that's what we're gonna ready. we're gonna sit you actually we're gonna sit one you time. on the couch. We're gonna sit you on the couch that way you don't fall back. Okay. You know, one time. You know, you get wobbly and all I'll that kind of stuff. You know, you get the weird look in okay. your face. So the average you cannabis smoke an, average cannabis smoker is spending six hundred and forty five dollars on cannabis a year. Okay. A year. What? How much you say? That's the average smoker, though. Now, 28, 22 that? point... That's, that's huh? 600, what? $645. That's, um... That's a... That's a bag. That's a bag. That's, that's a, a bag. She had a bad week. That's not realistic. That's a not pair of Giuseppe's. That, that's the, not realistic. 22. Anybody that I know. Giuseppe's. No cannabis smoker that I know that is that real. That's not real. They said a year? Yep. No. 22.8%. That's incorrect. 22.8% oh, they, they say average. are doing $500 to $1,000 a year. So who did they poll for this? Because that's all wrong. 
That's the average. They, that's they the say the 22%. That's the people that smoke once a year on their birthday. <laughs> Those it's a holiday birthday, smoking. I'm about to get it's high. Christmas. Hey, look. It's my job. Hey. But I'm on vacation, hold on, hold on. so. I'm sorry to say this right now. It's a kind of a messed up people. thing. Those are the people that are outside today running around crazy looking for weed. All of you today that made this a holiday are the ones that spend $645 a year what? on cannabis. Thank you. Um, any scared. real smoker knows that this is a That's, headache. Yeah. Any real smoker wants to, unless you're making some kind of financial profit today, you want to stay the fuck out of the way. Um, this is a holiday for you non-smokers, half-smokers, sometimes smokers, occasional smokers. I get pissed for my job smokers. This is your holiday. Monday, they're checking your pee. Because tomorrow, <laughs> yeah, no bullshit. You seen the Michael Jordan meme, the crying Michael Jordan meme about the ten years? Yeah, has what you need. You know, um, tomorrow, you see all this stuff up here. We got dab rigs, edibles, tinctures, moon rocks. Tomorrow, I'll be doing the same thing, and the day after that, and the day after that. Because I am a what? And the I'm day after sure. that. I'm a connoisseur. I'm, a con- I'm not even a smoker. I'm a connoisseur of fine cannabis products. Um, so back to, the, back to the numbers. Back to the numbers. That's crazy. Though. The average smoker, they say, is spending only $33 on a trip to the dispensary. $33. What are you buying for $33? What's that? Maybe an eighth? Two roll-ups. Two, two roll-ups. <laughs> Two roll-ups and an eighth and a lighter? I don't talk about what I don't know about. I don't know about <laughs> I know weed, man. They say only 7%. <laughs> only 7% is spending between $100 and $200 each trip. Wherever he get it from. Those are the, that's it. He good with me, I'm good with him. And they say that the average consumer of cannabis is 37 years old. Okay. With the highest is 25 to 29 at 20, 20.35%. And it steadily declines every year after that. Mm. Does somebody want some of this? Say that again. Say that again. I missed that. What? So the average smoker is 37. 37 and what? Okay. The highest uh, percentage of smokers is 20.35%. And they're 25 to 29 and every year after that, it steadily declines in how much uh, cannabis they consume. Okay. So they're saying they consume less cannabis as time goes on? The older you get, I guess, the, the more... Uh, the less cannabis. Well, I'm going to go over there. And, um, um, I feel like the older I get, the more cannabis I consume. Maybe it's because I have more money to spend on it now. We some of these gifts to our, some of our... Oh no, these are not these everything that you see here at this table. Off. Everything that you see at this table is going like to go to one like of our little uh what? I feel like it might take off. What? Consumption. You? A person. Why? Because I feel like once you get into a routine, you and you get older and you do get into a routine, it's a part of your routine. So it's like I might smoke when I wake up. Then I go do whatever I'm going to do. Then I might smoke before I go to bed and do whatever I got to do. And I might smoke once in between. It's not like I'm just sitting there smoking, 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 smoking. So I can say it might taper off. You can still waver it a little bit, but you pretty much do get into a routine. What's up, Gito? I'm sorry to talk about Facebook. Um, no, no, you know what? I do do smoke less unnecessary J's. Right. Um, back in the day, you know, have sitting down and smoking your whole pack and just being stupid high. I don't really go through that anymore. But I do smoke larger, better, stronger. Um, this has keef in it. This has a whole bunch of keef, probably about two grams. I'm rolling two grams at a time at least. Um, now see, that's, a gram see, at that's a time. the part too. But that's the part I work two. around. I work around this every day. So the more I smoke, the more moon rocks I put in the J. That's the part too. The more moon That's rocks I have to put in the J. But you got all I haven't found a level yet where I'm thinking about going to something else. There's always Not something much. else cannabis related. Oil Why would you wise. Not do that? People do. They say it's a gateway drug. Anybody out there? Anybody if think it's a gateway walk through drug? That gate to something else. <laughs> the gate to heaven. If if you walk through it and go to something else, why would you do that? Like I don't know. I don't know. So if I could do that all day, I would. Now you asked me about federal. 
right? You asked me about federal. Mm -hmm. So you know Jeff Sessions is not on board for cannabis. He's he's waging a one man war against cannabis. His own party and the president that has him doesn't even want him around anymore. He's still waging a war. In the last week, both President Trump and Boehner, John Boehner, have both said that they're w open to looking at the possibility of medical cannabis. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that mm -hmm. ant right there has my full attention. Sorry, I just zoned out. <laughs> it's right there on the edge. So it looks like I'll be smoking <laughs> by myself for the uh, for the remainder of the show. No, but you know, Boehner, Schmainer, like anybody well, now, that's not on board. But my, my thing is this. What do you think changed their mind? You don't understand. What do you think changed their mind as far as led is, is, in, in changing their view on cannabis? They, they smoked. You think they smoked just yep. like last week? I think they smoked. They were chilling with somebody. I think they, they smoked. I think they, 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 they smoked. Somebody I was like, man, that... it's just Jay, man. One of their friends that's on board with it and they not on board not finally peer pressured them into it. And they was like, you know what, man? This, this, this is cool. cool. And that was this, that. A this is John Keith. And now they need, they need to pay it forward and go get one of their other friends. Somebody and over there pretty rolling soon up. we'll be there. Want some Keith? To sprinkle it on. Sprinkle some Keith. Yeah. Don't uh, do, watch her. She gets heavy handed. <laughs> she she heavy handed as hell. Um, yeah, so I, I think that. honestly, in all honesty, I think what caused Boehner and Sports Trump time. to. Nope. Change their view is money. No, I'm not dabbing <laughs> shit. You're not dabbing? I dab that shit. Hell no. Oh man, it's gonna no. be tough. We can no, do it. No. We can See? do it. We can take See? a break and we can That's... do it off camera so no. you don't no. so you don't feel no. No. So you don't go ahead. I'm not gonna do it off camera. Whoa. I'm not doing I'm not doing See nothing that? new. That? I'm too old. See that? This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm getting do down. Shit. Hopefully no. we can get rid of this entire thing. No. Thank you. The entire you thing. What's not I just between right the here. three? What is wrong with you? Yeah, not between the three of us. Oh. We got. You talking about still, today? We still Tonight? got time on the clock. Just like, no, no, no. <laughs> we got. Happy for twenty and all that shit. Yeah. No. No. But you got me already us. over here. I like, meant like, amongst, I meant amongst. I try us to be creative today and wear you know a little something, something. Right. So anyway, like I like I said, I think money, money. Donald Trump is a businessman. America is not a country. We'll get into this on another show. America is not a country. It is a business. Of course. You should have it is been a corporation. Who's the president? Uh, no, it's always Duh. been. It's always well, been a right corporation. Right now, it definitely is. Well, if we're going to have, if we're going to be a corporation, but don't you want a businessman to run it? We're talking about 420. I mean, that's what the, that's what the whole, that's what the whole logic, the president. that's what the whole logic behind him being elected was. He was a good businessman. I, he was, he was supposed to be a good businessman or whatever. You know, America's dumb. We watch TV. We love the Kardashians. So, we still don't know how much so, he makes, so he is I choked when I said that. That's a damn shame. Their name came out of my mouth and I choked. Um, <laughs> so a businessman running the country makes sense and they see the dollar signs in cannabis. California is doing well. Colorado is doing well. We don't have books in schools. The roads are terrible, constantly terrible. We got homeless people. This crop, $645 my ass, this crop can get us out of the deficit in like three days. You just make, you make it legal and let everybody just go down the street to the corner and be like, look, let me get an eighth. You'll be good. The birth of the pop-up shop, I don't, I'm going to take you out to the pop-up tonight. The birth of the pop-up shop has shown that this can be done. We'll see. This can be done. We'll see. And, and these people want to pay. These, these guys that are doing the poppers, they want to pay. Nobody's, the, the people that, that go to these shops, these pop-up shops, they don't want to deal with the streets anymore. They don't want to, they want to know what they have. No, they want to know what it is. It's that, it's that, it's that. It's, you don't want to wait for your bud day, man anymore. At the end of the day, uh, they don't want people that. to, they don't want people to, you know, <laughs> be well and feel good. Well, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no money in um, there's exactly. no money in curing anything, and exactly. if you can cure yourself at home with a plant, exactly, um, that's and the last thing they want. Yeah, I met plants, a uh, plants, oils, you know, whatever you just do your research, just yeah. do your own research. Uh, if you do pharmaceutical your own research, pharmaceutical you, companies use no what excuse. they call partial partial plants. So they'll use they'll use CBD, which is a partial, and they'll use part of CBD or whatever in their drugs 
but they won't let you know that the full plant can be found in cannabis. The full healing can be found in this plant that, that grows. Looks like a laughing tank. So they'll give you a little bit of what they find in pineapples, or they'll give you some of what they find in. I don't know, mm-hmm. some kind of in, in basil or something like that. I smell it all day. <laughs> smell it. Look at it. Admire it. They're gonna get, but they're gonna give you what they call partial plants. Um, when you can go somewhere, grow your own stuff, and be way better off than they'll ever do. Um, chemo doesn't work. Um, cannabis. Cannabis is the way. If you're gonna go, you're gonna go regardless. Nothing's gonna save you. If you're gonna go, you're gonna go. But it can make it a little, little uh, easier. I had a buddy who was giving it to his brother who was paralyzed. He was able to sleep. You know, it was one of those situations. It's not. And you can find multiple stories like that. You all you gotta do is just look and read, research. So, yeah, Chuck Schumer is backing decriminalization on a federal level. He's like, federally, look, let's just get this money. I mean, it's money. These guys are sitting with with bundles of cash under their bed. Not really. Look, don't go out here looking for bundles of cash under anybody's bed. Okay. Um, but these guys, they want to pay tax. Um, I think California is char- is, get, is doing fifty four percent tax on all. Cannabis uh, profits. Yeah, I'm going to tax it too. Not it, but why not? You know, you know not why not? Too. I mean, it's going to get us out of deficit. We don't have, but we got money for presidential uh, military parades. You know, we got, got money, money for, for whatever they We got want. money for for Scud missiles and war. And we got want. you know whatever, but we can't whatever get decent want. books or whatever. Let the let, let the potheads do it. The, we're Syria. so lazy and we're so worthless. Let money the potheads do it. Let us do it. Let us pay for everything that's wrong in the. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Sure, why not? We're cool with it. We'll fix it. You you legalize. You let us uh, deposit money to the banks, and you let us file you know taxes every year, and we'll do it. We'll do it. So um, I'm gonna light this dab. Get this dab ready. We're gonna take a quick break. Um, we're gonna get one of our guests in here to tell us uh, the medical benefits of CBD, and uh, we'll be back. Me too. Bad bitch on the E two. Bad poom on E two. Beat you. See your one walls. Ebony P O V. Met you on poor her. Hashtag all cats. Bad ass no water. Book is muddy daughter.
was 22, 24, 26, 32, I was probably blue. Stuff in your car, babe, snuffing with my fuck stick. 22 cent booty pig, 24 made movie flip. 26 mile high club, three sims in a bathtub. Geechee for the lap up, pray to God you meet each other in the mother song. Ex shoes to hate me, cause I fucked her best friend. She wanted to be a lesbian, me too. Fat bitch on the E2, fat boom on E2. Okay, okay, we are back. We are back, and right now we're here with Tim and Kevin from Act Naturally CBD Products. Let's um, give them a how you doing? 420, how you doing? Happy 420. Let me just say there's not enough CBD in this room to take care of all of us <laughs> after today. Okay, so, so guys, for those who don't know, what exactly is CBD? CBD is like the vitamin of the cannabis plant. Okay, you okay. Know, no THC. So no psychotropic effects, but just, uh, you know, the cannabinoids, the terpenes just interact with your system and create amazing healing benefits. Come into the mic a little bit. Yeah. It's, uh, stands for cannabidiol. And uh, cannabidiol is a system within your body and your brain uh, that marijuana and both CBD react with. So it just uh, benefits your body in a lot of ways. Okay, and, and why is why is it not more widely, if it's something that our body naturally takes to, why is it something that's not more widely available or widely seen? It's taken off now. It's certainly starting to take off now with various CBD products, but why hasn't it been? Well, because everyone's really loved THC, and it's gotten all the attention from the marijuana plant. What we, uh, the CBD we have is derived from the hemp plant, which is a same plant as the marijuana plant, but has much less, uh, much lower THC level. Okay, so you're basically, like you said, you're not getting any type of psychoactivity, None. but you're getting all the healing benefits. What type of uh, conditions does CBD help with? I mean, you know, we we can't, you know, you're really not. A, it's it's a supplement, so mm -hmm. it's not regulated by FDA. We're not really, which, which it naturally should should be, but we're not making claims. But I mean, if you if you follow just our own site, you know, with reviews and things. Okay. It's been amazing. I mean, we've had people that had a bait dog right. out of control. He's at the vet's office. They give him three drops of CBD. The dog becomes docile and happy, and the vet's like, what the fuck's in the bottle, you know? I have seen lately um, CBD stuff for dogs. Um, it's really just lower doses of the same thing. There's, I mean, you know, there's there's not so much you can mix with CBD. So, so basically there is... Um, there's nobody that can't use CBD. No, no animal. And it seems like they're using it for dogs. I guess it's safe for cats. Um, I wouldn't think. I mean, our dogs what, eleven, 
Our dog's 11 years old, and she gets it every day on her I mean, breakfast. and she's out, like, bucking in the morning. What kind of dog you got? Just an old mutt, really. But, you know, an old female mm-hmm. dog, it's kind of... But you're not seeing any signs that, you know, dogs get arthritis. Um, not this one. Overweight type of things like that. Nothing? No, she's a very healthy 11-year-old. And we've had people with anxiety, just horrible anxiety issues. They couldn't even sit with their family, you know? And they start doing it, and they're able to play games and, you know, spend time with them. Well, I know it definitely works with seizures. I've seen, you know, people take it that have seizures. Um, what what are some of the ways that people take it? What are the, some of the ways you can get CBD? Because, you know, the average person doesn't. I'm, I'm hip, but the average person may not know. Well, gosh, it's available all different ways. I mean, we have it available in a tincture okay. with a soy base, so it's vegan. Okay. You just take it uh, under your tongue all right. or in your drink. Is that That's what this is here? That's right. Totally okay. That. Yeah. That you take like two to three drops. All right. And I mean, you know, I'm 54. You take two to three drops. It might last you till seven o'clock at night. And you just feel amazing. You know. So pain relief, joint relief. Yeah. I mean, you're pain. not stiff. You're happy. It's really great you for know. any type of inflammation and the problems that go along with inflammation. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, yeah. Direct to inflammation and, um, and pain, you know, for the most mm-hmm. part. We just are bringing in a product that's a, a CBD gummy Okay. that's made to help you sleep. It has melatonin in it, oh. and it just puts you to sleep. Is that what you gave me earlier? Yes, that that's what you said. I've been, I've been trying that's not to. Don't take it till later on. Cause it I wanted to sleep. eat it as soon as you gave it to me. I'm one of those people that want to immediately. So we gave it to a guy, you know, a really big guy that we know, a security dude. He took okay. it like he said, man, I, that's my problem. I can't sleep. I said, take, we gave him four. I said, you know, looked at his size. I said, we'll take like one and a half. He told me, he came up today and just, you know, hugging us, shaking our hand. Man, I slept like a baby. What is the, um, how did the dosage go? Well, like the dosage in that bottle is 100 milligrams. Okay. So I guess when you're taking CBD, you're probably using like 10 milligrams at a time, 30 right. milligrams. Like that little thing I gave you is probably close to 30. So if you take it, it's going to put you to sleep. If you took half of it, it's probably just going to relax you. And let you get through your evening if you had pain. And and how long does it take to kick in normally? I mean, those, I don't know. I had drank a few beers the other night. We got these. We sampled them, and I was probably passed out on the couch like nine o'clock, you know. But I woke up at four. Just felt like you know, I was thirty again. It it should take about a half an hour for it to get to you. Is that that's the average? That's the average time it takes for somebody mm-hmm. that smokes uh, heavy or doesn't smoke at all. It's still going to take around the yeah, average. Yeah, it, it goes through your digestion. So. And where, it, where, where, where do we get it? Where can we find it for all the people that have stomach, back, neck cramps, well, arthritis? I mean, this CBD Alzheimer's. we do pop ups like you do. It's okay. available at the Brooklyn Smoke Shop, and we have our website. Okay. You know, that's available that we can ship it. You know. So we have a lotion, a hemp lotion that helps people with uh, arthritis. You know. Okay. So all these products married with something else is really, you know. So we have uh, the tincture. Have a tincture. Have lotions. The they lotions. come with CB, you know, CBD lotions. Okay. There's capsules if you just wanted to take a capsule, and there's gummies. You know, just yep, all gummies. a whole array of different products. You can make uh, edibles with CBD. I've actually seen small. I want to say small drams of look like crystal. Yeah, you can dab with CBD. Okay, so how do you get it into that crystal form? Well, you can purchase it like. Is that. This, is it a trade secret you don't want to share? Well, no, no. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't create it. I don't, we, you know, we really don't mess with the, with Any the kind of with shatter, the, with or, the shatter or the okay. dabs. But I mean, it's available and it's amazing. I mean, we've done it, and you feel great. I mean, so any type of form you do CBD in, it just makes you feel amazing. I have a um, I have a person that has a skin condition. Is it safe to does CBD, it clear up any CBD will, blemish, will help. Not blemishes, but any type of you know uh, rashes? Oh, or it'll help with nature? eczema. Okay. Oh, buddy, that sounds good. Sounds like that dab rig over there going. So it will help with eczema, uh, burning, itching, sunburning. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you read, you know, just everything you see on Instagram and all the you know eczema, pain relief, insomnia. Um, It'll help with your appetite, you know, anxiety, depression. I mean, it's it's so almost unbelievable, you know, the whole array of things that it did. But yeah. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, this is um, the cannabis plant. They've they've you know segregated THC from it. Okay. So there's no psychotropic effects from it. But the benefits from that plant is unbelievable. 
amazing. And before FDA and back in the 1700s, I mean, this is what you found in your, you know, out in your apothecary, I guess. Even there, if they had it like that, it was a corner of a general the, store. Was your THC tincture? Part of it was that oh hemp was available everywhere. Exactly. And it was in every part of your diet. So your animals ate it. I mean, you would eat your animals, and it would just be in everything you, you ate, whether you, you knew it or not. And sure, there was a shorter life expectancy, but was anybody taking pills and had a cabinet full of pills? I mean, it was all just fresh food. Well, and, you know. I pulled up some numbers earlier. I'm sorry, I ate that sour gummy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. The citric acid on that is, woo, they really did that in. I feel like I'm about to drool on myself. I'm sorry, guys. Um... So, a no, couple numbers on deaths by, by other things. You know, nobody's ever died from cannabis. The amount of cannabis that you would have to smoke in the amount of time that you would have to take it, virtually impossible. You'd have to smoke, like, I think it's like something like, you know, 40, like a 40 pound bushel or something like that in like 10 minutes or something. <laughs> but deaths by guns, you have 4,000, this is uh, last year, 4,278 people are killed by gun violence. All right, so that's a problem. Definitely a problem. Uh, alcohol deaths were 88,000 annually. All right. Opioid deaths in 2000 were more than 60, was 64,000 people overdosed last year. And we're fighting cannabis. Mm -hmm. And our resources and dollars go to that. All day long. Every dollar that we could spend on school books is going to fighting yeah, these things, which are definitely smoking. preventable. I think that it's just a matter of time. I mean, you know, the older people realize the benefits of it. They're not stupid. You know, all it takes is maybe three people to have an experience, and then you've reached 3,500 people. Yeah, 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 definitely. So, I mean, it ha it just has to happen. Uh, so what do you think? What's, what's holding it up? What's holding us up? What's holding the government? What's holding everybody up? Well, I think, I mean, every state struggles. I mean, everybody has a different situation, but it's all just coming. I mean, you just see it, you know, approved, approved, approved. I mean, the people are demanding it. I mean, here, here they voted for it. They wanted it. They wanted access to it. I mean, there's no sense in fighting it. It, it can help these people. They do not need to be on medication and cabinets full of pills when this plant can... Almost be a cure all. Yeah. The, 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 and, the and forget plan. the money. Enough with the money. You know? It's just time for people to have sanity and peace and love and, you know, and prosperity and not be hung up on any of it and move on yeah. to something else that really is vital wow. to our lives, you know. Well, thank so you, young, man. old, you know. Thank you guys for coming in. We're thank gonna you. take a quick break and we're gonna get into our trivia. We're gonna give away all of this stuff here if the person can answer those questions. <laughs> <laughs>
is 22, 24, 26, 32, I was probably blue, stuff in your park, babe, snuffin' with my fuck stick, 22, send booty pick, 24, make movie flip, 26, my high club, three sims in a bathtub, GT for the lap up, pray to God you meet each other in the mother song, ask you to hate me, cause I fucked her best friend, she wanted to be a lesbian, me too, fat bitch on the E2, fat poom on E2, beat you, slide to your own walls, Ebony, POV, met you on poor her, hashtag, all cats, fat ass, no water, fuck his muddy daughter. So hey, that's Welcome my song, back. man. That's a uh, that's a uh, DJ Mathematics. I was over here rocking like shit. It's in my zone. I just hit that dab. I'm kind of buzzing a little bit. Toes kind of tingling. Um, and my man Nate G, Nate the Great G, Nate Graysky. Um, So now we're gonna get into our trivia game show portion right now. Uh, like I said before, everything here can be won by our contestant. For every, every incorrect answer that she gives, we're going to give it to our number two contestant. So for just for being here, just for being on standby, they get everything that she doesn't get. If Dang. 10 questions, you're over there celebrating already. You're like, she ain't getting nothing. I hope she don't get nothing. Um, for uh, If she gets all 10 of these correct, she'll also be given... A quarter of cannabis. Ooh. Ooh, 420. The pressure is on. All of these questions are cannabis based. Okay. Cannabis and cannabis pop culture based. Are you ready? Yes. Are you high? Yes. Introduce yourself to the people. Nicole. Hey, Nicole. Better known as Nikki. Also known as Green Eyes. Also known as anything else? That's Better known it. as, also known that, as, that's about commonly it. called, hey, hey. often referred to. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Question number one THC is the compound found in cannabis that makes you high. What does THC stand for? Oh, you didn't see that earlier. Mm. All right. Let's see. You just said that earlier. We'll give you a hint. Okay, so, yeah, why don't you give me, like, A, B, and C? No. Like, multiple choice. Yeah. I told you I was saying it. Let's, I, I said it while you were over there. I looked directly choice. at you. As I said, a lot of these answers will be given throughout the show. Please pay attention. Tetra. Come on. Yeah, that's it. No, <laughs> that's not it. That's what you said earlier. It. Oh, yeah, that's what look you at said. that. Yeah. Come on. Five <laughs> seconds. This is for the quarter. Just yell something Come out on, there. Come on, it's T. Yeah, it's T. It's T. It's Something hydro. Hydroxide. Cannabis. Hey, you know what? If you You know what's funny? If you'd have gotten like a little closer, I think, should we give it to her? No. Try it. No. Try it. No. No, 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 you don't get it. No, get it. you don't get it. Wrong. Next. Okay. And you're that my goes, family. That goes, Ain't that I know. a shame? That goes yeah. to person number two. Yeah. Person number two gets, gets our first. It's nothing but a lighter. Sorry. It's still a lighter. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Lighter. It's a lighter. Can we, can we, can we put this can we put his lighter over there? Yes. All right. Put him in his pile. That's his pile. Question. Okay. What, are, what are we going to give away for question number two? This is question uh, number two. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it, it's a, it's a tetrahydrocannabinol. Say that one more time. Tetrahydrocannabinol. Hey, hey. Tetrahydrocannabinol. Cannabinol. Cannibal. Cannibals? Cannibals. Cannibals. Oh, they okay. eat flesh. Okay, cannibals. All right. Two-part right. question. The, 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 the quarter is now out of place. Sorry. Sorry. It's over. Um, cannabis is classified into, into three categories. Hybrid, blank, and blank. What are the two blanks? Oh, that's easy. Is it? That would be sativa okay. and indica. All right. Ding! Yay! All right. All right. So, ding, 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 so ding. your prize is? Oh, Rice Krispie Treat. And? Hey, hey. A cartridge. Two-parter. Two answers. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. We're like that. that. Her 
like so, that. Real I like quick, the winnings. Real quick, Super Indica was give you is going to give you couch oh, lock. Nice. It's going to give you that heavy body. Yes, feel. yes, it's the body That's high. What you want for sativa. a nighttime if you need to go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Sativa is going to give you that upper, that mind high. But you smoke during the day. Um, yep, yes, yep. Yes. I do the opposite. Actually, I do Indicas at night. I do in the morning and I do sativas. Uh, yeah, because you night. work the night shift, so that makes sense. And I'm also hyped when I wake up already, so I need to calm down. <laughs> I'm like a child. Um, okay. Question number three. <laughs> also a multiple question. We're going to give, for this one, we're going to do one of the CBD tinctures. And because you won the pen, I mean the cartridge, we're going to put the battery up there for you. Sounds good. So, so it's a two-parter, right? Sounds good. But it's a three, uh, three answers. Uh-oh. Jack Herrera is a popular sativa. Name three Jack Nicholson movies. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, hey. Okay, I'm going to go with... Um, There's a bunch of them. Hold on, don't tell me. Um, okay, of course, we're going to go with Batman. Okay, that's one. Yes. The Joker. Um, ding, ding, ding. Play the Joker. Two, I'm going to go with... Oh, man, what was... The Shining, which is one of my good favorite horror flicks. Great movie. Um, Bloody Hallway. Three. She's on a roll. One more. <laughs> More. Ten seconds. You can oh, handle the timer? truth. I didn't know it was on time. Okay. <laughs> no. Um, let's see. The one he had the little dog in one, Cuba Nicholson. Gooding Jr. To Tom Ooh, Hanks. Um, How about Tom Cruise? Um, um, um you, Demi Moore. You can't handle the truth. Come on. Oh, um what uh, men want. No what women wow. want. Nope, that's uh no Gibson. What? No, okay. Hey, you know what's funny? When no, I was it's coming over this thing about Keaton. it. I just saw it the other day. Um, ow, 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 ow. Shoot. Okay, hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Jack Nicholson. These are my two favorites. Got two of them. Of them. Come on. All right. Well, anger management. There, there you go. go. Yeah. Yeah. Sandler. The pressure was on, Adam folks. Sandler. I didn't think she'd yes. come up with Adam it. Yes. All right. Yes, 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 yes. Well, she's won now her pen, her battery, she has and her tincture. Yes. Next up. She has that goes over there. We're going to go that for... That's her pile. That's, That's his pile. That's good looking. Good an eighth. Looking. We're going to go with an eighth of Jack Herrera. Oh, one of my favorites. Probably should have put that with Jack Nicholson, but she got it, so we'll put this guy up here next. Are you ready? Sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. In Half Baked, Mr. Nice Guy was in competition with who? Oh, my goodness. That Jamaican dude. Who Um, did everybody want to talk to? Come on, you can do it. Oh. I want to talk to. Come on, baby. You can do it. Samson. Surprise, surprise. Samson. Yes. Yes. Samson. Dave yes. yes. Chappelle, Mr. Nice Guy, was in competition with Samson. My man did not. My man did not like boobs. Shout out to Dave Chappelle. Yeah, shout yes. Out yes. Chappelle I went to Dick Ellington with him. By the way. Yes, yes, All right. Yes. You ready? Nice. Right after that, we're coming right back with it. We're gonna go with a gram of moon rocks. Oh. This is an easy one. I like that prize. This is an easy one. You cannot miss one. No second guesses, no partially. Is this it, this no. must be multiple choice then. It's, well, yes, definitely. It's, it's sounds good, parts. sounds good, sounds good. Name three stoner movies. Oh. Legitimate stoner. Not when somebody oh, happened okay. to get high. How high? Okay. Half bait. Hmm. Oh. Rip. Friday. All right. All right. Yay. Good. All right, Thank so you. now let's go with. I would have just said Friday, one, two, <laughs> next Friday. We have a dub. <laughs> yes. And it keeps getting better. Smell this. Hey, hey, hey. All right. What was Craig caught stealing on his day off? Ooh. Hmm. Really? Was that. She's getting inspiration, folks. Hmm. 
fight. You trying to build a clubhouse? Five seconds. Boxes? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know what's funny? When we asked it, when we asked we were coming up with no, that's exactly oh, what it was. It yeah. was boxes. What, what when we were coming up with boxes? the questions for this, everybody, nobody really knew. But the how answer. was he still in boxes again? It wasn't. It was. It was. It was. I'll say. Okay. So whole it time. It made no sense. The boxes. <laughs> He went out oh, there. Ezel was still in the box. Was he? Hold oh, up. Ezel was the one still in the boxes. They caught him on camera and they fired Craig for that. <laughs> fired on your Ezel. Vicious. Okay, you ready? Your yes, brain yes, on your. Yes. This is for a gram of shatter. Hey. We have one last question. Hey. One more. All right, this is our last question. We're going to do. Uh... All right. We're gonna give the rest of this away right here. You can ask this last question. We got a gram of shatter, a sticker pack, a pack of raw papers. Oh, hey, hey. And uh, you ready? Yes. Final question. Sounds good. Your brain on drugs was represented by what in commercials? Your brain on drugs. That would be some, was it over easy? Eggs in the frying pan? God damn. Yeah. Uh, do we have anything else to give her? She said over easy. She yes, gave yes, you yes, how yes, they yes. were cooked as well. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Eggs. Thank, thank you, thank you. Real 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 real. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank well, you. Well, 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 well. That brings us to the end of our show. For 20. Jen Strong, lover of life, that's me. Best yes. day of the year. Hey, I'm just here. Chilling. Yes. Sending love for my man Chuck, who uh, hey. unfortunately Chuck had Wagon. to go. Yeah. Chuck Wagon. We love him. I am your man C, and we are yeah. the Two, Two Real, Real Radio. Radio.